A good Friday evening to you. Our, your first forecast is brought to you by Stored at Home Rent to Own Portable Buildings. We did stay mostly dry today, but we do have chances of rain tomorrow, especially with tropical air moving northward, continuing to move to the north. So it's going to be hot and humid again, and we do have the possibility of afternoon thunderstorms. So here's a look at your forecast for this weekend. We are expecting mostly sunny conditions through much of the day, but uh, we are going to see the possibility of thunderstorms by the afternoon. But temperature Temperatures will be hot, 93 degrees on Saturday, 94 degrees on Sunday. We're going to continue with the hot conditions through early next week, but there could be a little bit of a cool down for the latter part of next week. We'll have details on that on ABC 31 News. A Colfax man was killed yesterday afternoon in Natchitoches Parish. Troopers say 56 year old Edward Goff was on Highway 6 near Clarence in Natchitoches Parish. They say Goff lost control of his pickup, sideswiped another pickup, and ran head-on into a third pickup. LSU of Alexandria has their annual 5K event coming up, and this year they've added an option for those who want to run, but maybe run a little less. It's a one-mile run. Very excited about it. Not only does it benefit athletics, but it benefits especially LSUA men's basketball, which of course has been very successful yes, they have. over the last couple of years. Um, the event though does get kicked off at 815 that morning. Uh, it is $30, but tickets, um, but for people will also be getting a complimentary ticket to LSUA uh, basketball game, which is also very nice. Uh, you can register online, simple enough, by going to LSUA5k.com. Or you can also register the day of, that morning of, in case you may be worried about the weather or something like that. You can also register first thing that morning. It's a nice run. It's, it's on campus, so it's nice and flat. Hopefully the weather will be just a touch cooler, so people will be able to enjoy that. The one mile this year is kind of a new, um, a new aspect to it. Head over to LSUA5K.com to register for the event, which will take place on Saturday, September 29th. Well, welcome back everyone. Of course, the big story for today was that Florence did make landfall early this morning. Right now it has been downgraded to a tropical storm and it is spinning toward South Carolina. It will continue to move toward that northern edge of South Carolina before it starts to head to the north. I don't think it's going to affect our weather. However, just uh, an interesting note, but we do have a tropical wave just uh, south of Texas or near Texas right now that's heading toward that southern tip of Texas and it's bringing some showers and thunderstorms to that area. But notice uh, the flow around that low pressure system. It is just spinning there and it is bringing a few showers and thunderstorms into Louisiana. So uh, we're going to see the possibility of more rain as we head into tomorrow. In fact, it's going to be hot and steamy once again and there could be a few uh, thunderstorms by the afternoon and that will be both days, Saturday and Sunday. We're going to stay hot through early next week. Unfortunately, we do have the possibility of isolated storm chances as we head into uh, most of next week and then better rain chances by the end of the week as another cold front comes through and that will cool things down by the end of the week. We'll take a look at your seven day forecast in just a little bit, but it's definitely muggy. Our dew points in the 70s puts us in that steamy category, so we're going to stay with that tropical air through much of this weekend. Temperatures around 95 degrees degrees this afternoon. That was the high 92 in Natchez, 91 degrees in Leesville. So as that system starts to move into Texas, tropical air will move in. It will help to drag that uh, moisture northward from the Gulf of Mexico. So we do have the possibility of showers and thunderstorms, especially because of the heating of the day. But here's a look at your future radar. We're going to be quiet tonight and then as we approach Saturday into the morning hours, there could be a few showers that light up for the southern part of the state and then a few more showers and thunderstorms uh, by the early evening hours. So we are expecting a little bit of rain, mainly due to the heat and the humidity. Here's a look at your forecast tonight, though. Temperatures around 73 degrees. Those clouds will start to decrease. Tomorrow, look for highs around 93 degrees. There could be a few afternoon thunderstorms. And here's a look at your seven day forecast. We're going to stay hot through early next week. In fact, highs will be in the mid 90s. It's going to feel a lot warmer than that because of the humidity. Afternoon thunderstorm chance from Monday into your Thursday and then we have a cold front that will come through and it's going to bring the possibility of thunderstorms which will help to cool us down a little bit with a high of around 89 degrees which is of course normal for this time of year. That's a look at your weather. Scott.
Keep your eye on the sky with those active tropics. Here's weekends with 31. Tomorrow is the seventh year for La Tour de Bayou. It benefits the Kent House, and there are multiple levels to get you off the couch and onto a bike. Family Fun Day at Beulah Lake is sponsored by the Area Komen Race for the Cure and features activities plus food and drinks. It runs from 8 to noon. It is the official start of the arts and social season in Alexandria with Pops on the River by the Rapid Symphony Orchestra. And it's inside the air-conditioned Riverfront Center featuring a night of jazz. And it's the second year of Grillin' and Chillin' to benefit the Homeless Coalition. It will feature gourmet food, music, and a silent auction. It runs Sunday from 4 to 7 at Spirits. Players with the Cincinnati Bengals held a pep rally at a nursing home today, but it wasn't the players who stole the show. Instead, it was a little old lady. There she is. 95-year-old Irma kept the party going with her stellar dance moves. Irma got her groove on with the Bengals cornerback, Drake Kirkpatrick, who hosted the tailgate party at the Loveland Healthcare Nursing Home and Rehab Center. The two even held hands and rocked to the beat in front of the crowd of seniors. I doubt there's many times that LSU fans would cheer for Drake or Patrick if those remember he played for Alabama back in his college days. But that's one of them where you got you to gotta root for the guy because he's, he's having fun with. That's pretty good right you there. You know, having fun with the fans, and, and she's just rolling. Irma. Yeah, she's she got some moves. She's too cute. Oh, my yeah. gosh. I hope I'm like 95 that. 95 years five. Oh, my mm -hmm. gosh. Still just kicking it. Killing it with those moves. <laughs> awesome. Got some moves for our final forecast? Uh, unfortunately, we're probably going to be slugs this weekend just because it's going to be hot and humid. Temperatures climbing into the mid-90s. You know it's going to feel a lot warmer than that, and we do have rain chances in the afternoon. All right, thanks, Kim. Thanks for watching.